So today I'd like to introduce to you one of our members, one of our 100X DNA community members. Her name is Teresa Wong. And not long ago, she was sitting in the same seat as you, facing the same challenges that you're going through now. And with discipline, with courage, with commitment, she's been able to reinvent herself over the past 12 months. So Teresa is coming back to talk to you today about where she started from and what she's been able to achieve since applying these 100XD and A mythologies in her life. So please go to the chat box, type in the name Teresa, type in T-E-R-E-S-A, and welcome back, Teresa Wong. Teresa, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Daniel. Hey, how are you doing there? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much. My gosh, are you getting younger and more beautiful every day? <laughs> uh, I suppose, yes, <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> and out here as well. Thank you very much. And out here. Okay, well, welcome back. How's your weekend coming along? Have you been busy? It's actually very, very exciting. Um, uh, after this sharing, I have uh, a two hours event at two o'clock. So right after this, I need to speed up. Okay, well, we know how valuable your time is. We've got our friends here joining us for at 100XDNA, some of them for the first time, some of them for the second and third time. And you've been in the same position as these people. So when did you come to 100XDNA for the first time? When were you here for the very first time? If I remember correctly, it would be in October last year. So you were here in October last year. It's September 2021 now. What was happening in your life at that stage? What was that problem that you wanted to solve? What was that thorn in your side? What was that pain that you had? Um, there's actually two major pains uh, and challenges that I have. Number one is clarity. Um, I'm actually in the hospitality industry. However, for the past um, 18 months, there has been no movement, has been a lot of standstill, and there's no direction from the company. So I was actually a person that I cannot sit and do nothing. So I decided to join on your program. And that's the first time I meet Daniel. And um, after that, I've made decision. You know, like what he said, uh, Daniel said yesterday, you either go all in or nothing at all. All right. And I take my uh, own responsibility to join the 100X DNA. And from there, I actually have a um, few of the results that I have built up. Number one is I able to get out of my comfort zone and to be able to speak in front of 160 odd people today, which is a, um, a great achievement. All right. And number two, after being able to face the camera and the fear and also the doubt of myself, I able to compete uh, within myself and by doing a lot of practicing and also uh, facing the challenges, I able to increase my self-confidence. And after which a company has actually spotted me and they've invited me to become an MC for a couple of times from 100 people to 400 people. And today we're expecting more than 500 people. Wow. Huge. Huge audience. Incredible. It is. It is. Incredible. So you're going from strength to strength, speaking in front of audiences of 100 to 400 to 500. We've got 167 people live right now. And you're doing it so confidently. What was life like for you a year ago? When it came to speaking in front of an audience a year ago, what was life like back then? It was pretty miserable, I have to be honest. Um, like then you always say, a successful people um, was a disaster person before. And everything is diff difficult before it gets easy. Um, not only my career was on standstill, my personal life as, all, as well. Um, if you remember, I am actually uh, had a broken marriage and I actually couldn't be able to bring my daughter back with me, uh, which she's currently residing in South Africa. That eventually built guilt in me. And I also have uh, depression during the period of time. 
Um, however, because I attended the handle XDNA and I'm able to have my clarity, I know what I want. And very important is I have to develop and to uh, inspire myself and to learn from you, especially. And like you always say, if you mingle with five successful people, you will be the sixth successful person. So from being very down and depressed and now be able to stand on my feet and to face the people and to able to build the relationship um, stronger between my family and especially with my daughter. That is something that I couldn't be able to imagine before meeting you, Daniel. Amazing, amazing. Now, just, just so people can understand this, Teresa's situation, her daughter's not living in Malaysia. Her daughter's 15,000 kilometers away in South Africa. And I was looking through your Facebook photos the other day and I saw the photos of you and your daughter and you know how much you love your children a mother's love for a child a father's love for their child but imagine not being able to see your child because of COVID-19 and they live in a different country 15,000 kilometers away and Teresa still has gone from strength to strength and that's her major obstacle every single day but she's gone from strength to strength and what I like most about Teresa is she's just got rid of the bullshit stories. She's accepted the reality for how it is now, and she's moved forward in life. 99% of the world's population have a fear of public speaking. 99% of people. We know it because the majority of people who come to this program, they don't turn the cameras on because they're afraid of criticism and rejection. But to put yourself out there in front of 100 people means you've got to accept rejection and criticism from 100 people simultaneously. But only 1% of the population are able to do that. And Teresa could come up with all the excuses, depression, anxiety, separation. But she's gone from strength to strength, not from 100, but to 168 live now, to groups of 200, to being spotted and recognized. And now speaking to 400... And I believe it's just going to go up and up and up. And so if you have a big enough why, you can overcome any what. And as Teresa said before, and I'll mention the quote now, every master was once a disaster. Everything is hard, isn't it, Teresa, before it gets easy. But if you have the desire, if you make the decision, if you have the discipline, if you have the determination to see things through then you can have those massive results so Teresa congratulations <laughs> that's a phenomenal breakthrough inside of you because most people avoid the camera they avoid the spotlight their entire life but you're already getting recognized so what was the recognition what what happened how did that occur um, that occurred I believe is the first FB live that I did about nearly four months ago um, no one could actually believe that I that was my first FB life. They see this person has got so much confidence um, and she's able to face the camera and she knows how to interact with the audience. Um, and after that, I like I mentioned earlier on, um, they actually spotted me and offered me a few of the MC jobs and being a speaker. And then um, two days ago, the founder just told me, Teresa, you are the best of the best. And this is actually a huge compliment and a milestone from um, a founder that said it right in front of my face. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can reinvent yourself. You can change your life. And, and don't wait. <laughs> don't waste another day. The fact that you do one Facebook Live the fact that you put yourself out there and you do something different, that's getting out of your comfort zone. And life rewards action. Life rewards people who get out of their comfort zone. And that's phenomenal. So, Teresa, congratulations. Thank you for coming and sharing. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very my much, pleasure. Daniel. I, it's really been my honor um, to be here today and, and also be able to be um, able to join your program. And to all the audience today, I actually have joined Daniel's uh, three programs. And the third one is coming soon, and I'm very, very and super excited um, how actually I can uh, accelerate to the next level. Thank you so much. Teresa just didn't join one program. She joined them all. 
<laughs> and it pays off. And and it's so true. Like what Teresa said before, you've got to get yourself into the right environments. There's there's three parts of change. You've got to work on your mindset, which is your conscious mind. You've got to work on the emotional part of your mind and you've got to get your emotions sorted out. And then thirdly, you've got to work on your physical environment. Your physical environment is your suggestive environment. And you do become like the people that you spend the most amount of time with. And if you spend time with five losers, you become the sixth. <laughs> if you spend time with five successful people, you become the sixth. And I know that's exactly what Teresa's doing. So well done, Teresa. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you, Daniel. Well done. We'll see you soon. Enjoy your event today. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, it can be done. And there's people doing it with big obstacles, with big disappointments in their life. And you've got to take the shit in your life and you've got to turn it into sugar. You've got to take your pain and you've got to start to profit from it. And remember, every master was once a disaster. You've just got to get out of your comfort zone once and do it once. And then life rewards action. <laughs>